Excuse me, give me some space. Hey, man, you want to go bowling? I guess the police won't be looking for two cold killers like ourselves at a bowling alley. Pick me up in the next hour. Becky, I'll be there soon. There's me man, Nico. Come on. Nico, boy, how's it going? What's happening with you? This and that, you know. Trying to make ends meet. Aren't we all, Nico? Aren't we all? Well, sometimes we're trying to keep our heads above the water, other times we're trying to drown ourselves in it. You feel that way? You ever feel that need to obliterate yourself? Maybe sometimes. I mainly try to focus my need to destroy things onto other people. <laughs> That's because you ain't Irish. If an Irishman ain't beating himself up, he's beating up his family. With me, it's myself. My pa was different. It's this fucking chop that's screwing me at the moment. I can't go out and look for chicks without it. But once I'm out, I'm in the can most of the night doing rails. After that, there ain't a chance in hell of me being able to get a heart. It's a fucking catch-22. I gotta cut down on this shit. That might be a good idea, man. You all right, Nico boy? Sure, how you doing? As long as I don't think about things, fantastic. Sometimes I think that is true for all of us. Sure, I reckon it is. Maybe that's why the world is divided into the drunk and the miserable. Maybe. Although my dad was both drunk and miserable. Right fucking idiot. I'm sorry about that. He messed the whole fucking family up, I reckon. I used to think I loved him, then I realized I hated him. Drunken bastard, fuck him. Has he been dead long? Yes, but not long enough. I wish he'd been drowned at birth, got rid of the lot of us. You're not very cheerful today. No, I'm sorry. Happy thoughts, puppies, and little girls smiling, and clowns, and all that shit. You're getting to know the McCreary family pretty good, Nico boy. What's left of it, at least. You good people. I like it how you have stayed together. All of us except for Francis. We stayed together when it was possible. I guess we got Ma to thank for that, taking us to church and cooking a big lunch for the family on a Sunday. When Jerry first went to Juvie, she kept laying a place at the table for him. That was until my Pa got into a drunken rage one week and threw Jerry's plate against the wall. What happened? Ma didn't even flinch, she just sat there. The next week, Gerald's place at the table was empty. She must be a strong woman. That's what I thought at first. Now I just reckon it was denial. She got this power to switch off. When Pa would get drunk and do things, she'd just glaze over. I don't know, she's my ma, but I ain't never gonna understand that. There's a lot that I am never going to understand, Becky. A whole fucking lot. How you doing? Okay, you know. Sure. Great apart from all the blood and the guilt, eh? Kind of messed up this kind of life, isn't it? Yes. But then what's the alternative? Be a hero with feet of clay or be a drunk and a thug and a killer? But at least you ain't a fucking hypocrite. I don't know. Bury your brother, bury your dad, but at least you can look in the mirror and feel okay? Feel like a man? I saw my brother get killed a long time ago. He was a good friend of Roman's too. We never speak about it. I'm sorry. I knew you could understand that grief. Pain comes easy to the McCreary's. Pain and remorse and doing whatever we can to forget about them. Yes. Maybe we're all hypocrites. All imbeciles. Francis, you know about Francis? He wanted to be a priest. Really? He got thrown out of the seminary for cheating. He tried to cheat God. Can you believe it? So he became a fucking cop. Nico, boy! Nico! You still in contact with your family back in, uh, wherever? With what's left of them. I'm not so lucky to have my whole family in one city. Us McCreary's never flew far from the nest. We all stuck close to home. All of us apart from Derek, that is. He left us to visit the old country. Liberty City was never enough for him. It was always a dream. That's probably why he got into smack. Took him to another world. Cocaine is a realist's drug, right? Keeps you in the moment? Keeps your head up your own fucking ass. That's about as grounded as you can get. What did Derek want to find in Ireland? I don't know. He loved the stories about the old country, the poetry, the songs, the books. And more than anything, he loved the good ruck, though. He went to Ireland to find it all. An old romantic he was. 
The world has a strange way of knocking that out of you pretty quick, eh? And life knocks most things out of you pretty quick. What's going on, Nico? Usual kind of chaos. Sure, sure. Chaos we all know about. Jerry was the only one who ever tried to live beyond the chaos. What makes him different? I'm not sure, but it didn't do him much good either way. I think it was because of Derek. Why? Because Derek was a grass in England. He was involved in that business and he grassed on some people to avoid doing some serious time. And then went into hiding for years. I did not know that. No, he spun it different, but that was the truth. A grass to avoid doing time. That's why Jerry won't bend. He sees it as penance for the sins of his brother. Crazy fucking idiot. Becky, how's it going, man? It's good to see you. Good to see you, Nico. Anything new going on? Not really. Usual series of shootouts, fist fights, and robberies. Shit, that sounds like a fucking extract from my diary. It would if I kept the diary, at least. The fighting bit, mainly drunken fights, sober fights, fights on the subway, fights with the family. Did your family fight a lot growing up? Oh, fuck! I practically had to come out of the womb swinging. As the youngest, I was always getting my ass kicked by Derek, by Gerald. Francis tried to get me on his side, team up against the other two, he said, but I wasn't having any of it. Sneaky fucking bastard he was, even back then. People don't change, do they? One time I remember Frankie and Gerald going at it. There was just this feeling in the air, this feeling that told me this one ain't like all the other fights. Ah, they didn't stop. There was a look in their eyes. It was fucking animal. What well, ended the fight? Who won? There ain't a winner in a fight like this. I thought the only thing was gonna end it was one of them dying. Ma had walked out when it started, didn't want nothing to do with it. It ended, they was in the kitchen. Jerry was on top, just smashing Frankie's head into the floor. Then he looks up and sees Katie huddled up in the corner, crying and shaking, and they both just stopped when they saw her. Kate stopped being a kid after that. You know what I mean? I think I do. What's up, Nico? Well, not much, you know. Problems, solutions. Usual sort of thing. You sound just like Jerry when you said that, all cagey and thoughtful, like I might be wearing a wire. I don't think you're wearing a wire. My English can be a bit bad. Sure, sure. But you're like Jerry, a weird combination of crazy maniac and thoughtful, controlled guy. Thanks, I think. I always liked Jerry. I remember one night years ago, a bit after my dad died, he came home covered in blood, like he'd been rolling around the floor of an abattoir. He must have killed someone, I guess. I never found out. And he had this weird look in his eyes, like he was possessed. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, Kate saw the whole scene, him insane, like he'd ripped a man's throat out. Blood everywhere. The showering, the burning of clothes. I think that was when she realized just what we were like. She was young then. She was never quite the same after that. No? No. Well, it must have been hard realizing your brothers kill people. It wasn't hard for me, but I always knew what life was like. Hey, I got shit to do. Were you and Roman always close? Back home, I mean? Yeah, we always were. Close, but different. A good team. He was the smart one. I was the active one. It's probably why he got out of there when things got bad. I stuck around and life didn't go so good from there in. You seem like a solid guy, Nico. I know you talk about this bad shit that happened to you, but I think you can get over it, you know? You're a survivor. No one but me can see what is in my head when I try to sleep at night. No one has the dreams I do. And you only know this, Nico. The one here in Liberty City. There are very few people in Liberty City who met me before the war. At least you know yourself, man. Fuck, I don't know what I am. An Irishman, an American. I think I'm straight, but when it's late at night, I need another gram. I, I've thought about doing some fucked up shit, man. My family's just as confused. Are we gangsters or cops? Drunkards or priests? Some people call this shit Catholic guilt, but I reckon it's just confusion. It's very rare to find one word that can sum up a feeling you have. In my language, in English, it's very rare to find a word that says it all. I think he's best to say nothing. You could be fucking right. So what's up, Nico? I don't know. Not much. What's up with you and the family? Same shit. Well, Kate's being a bit odd, but you know about her. Yes. Look, what goes on or went on between you two is your business. I don't want to know. What I do know is she's a good girl. Yes, she is. I just wish she'd sort her head out. 
learn to enjoy herself a little bit more. She seems more sane than the rest of you. Oh, looks can be deceiving. She can't enjoy herself. No sense of joy. I'm a lunatic, but at least I know how to enjoy myself by retarding myself on drinking drugs every day until I can't for the life of me remember why I'm miserable. Becky, man, how's it going? How is your mother? Me mother? She's fucking dying. Has been since the day she was born, as far as I can tell. Aren't we all dying from the day we are born? Uh, my mother in particular. I think it's the shame. The shame of her marriage to a drunken pervert. The shame of her children. I don't think I have to spell that one out to you, do I? Yeah, nobody's perfect. I blame her parents. They were first generation, you know? Came over from some bog somewhere, pure as the driven snow. Ended up in fucking Liberty City, the center of sin on Earth. Of course she was gonna go wrong. They could've ended up in Australia, beaches, hot chicks, fucking who knows what else. I would've liked it there, I could've been okay. It ain't too late for you to get out of here, Becky. It ain't too late until you're dead. I'll try to remember that. I'm bored, man. Why? Because life is shit. Or my life is shit, because I don't, I don't know. Because all I fucking do is cause trouble and then drink and do drugs. What's the problem? I'm Bored. I've been rucking and getting fucked up for 15 years. Is this what I was put on the fucking earth for? I hope so, because you're doing a good job of it. Ha <laughs> very funny. I mean, I never paid any attention in school. When your family are drunks and killers, you don't really get all the moral discipline you might hope for. My father used to beat us to provide discipline. My father was a long way from a saint. Stop! I wanted to be an artist. I could draw really well. It wasn't exactly encouraged. I was kept home from school so I could roll joints for my dad. Soon I had different goals. Fucking stupid world, though, isn't it? You cool, Nico? Yes. Not bad, you know. I enjoy talking to you, man. Enjoy hanging out. After all the craziness, recently and a long time ago? Good. I also enjoy our friendship. Sorry about the troubles your family experienced. Really, I am. Thank you. No problem. It's always been weird. It's my dad's fault. He was an asshole. I know. You said. I didn't say everything. He molested Jerry and me. Then he killed himself. What the Nobody speaks fuck much is about going it. On? Sorry. I used to think maybe Jerry had killed him, but I think he killed himself. Damn, this is all so embarrassing. Why did I tell you that? I think that's what really destroyed the family. The old man was a sick pervert. Fuck. I never told anyone that before. 